بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم okay fine so uh, so here what i'm going to discuss is the road map basically when you start your ccna course what will be the road map and where exactly you want to go like currently I'm, we are doing the ccna course around in september october let's say where we spend around uh, uh, six weeks on learning the ccna <laughs> Now, from here, where you exactly go? Now, where you exactly go, it depends on many things. Okay, if you have any other uh, field, you can just add up. So maybe you just want to get into a job where you already have some other skills. Like one option is you might be already working. So mostly, I'll, I'll try to categorize different types of people or different types of uh, people generally get in your. Okay, you might be in any of these categories. So that's something you have to plan. So maybe you're already working as a system admin. Okay, you are working already as a system admin. System admin is a typical role in IT, where you are system admin or desktop support engineer or maybe a database engineer. There are different uh, relevant profiles where you are working in a data center or somewhere, uh, working on different roles in any organization or anywhere. You pay. Now, what you want to do is from a system admin role, you might be trying to move on to a network admin role or the network in your role or maybe anywhere you know, okay so or maybe you want to move your profile to a network security engineer kind of a role okay so when you want to expertise on network or maybe you are just a fresher okay or maybe other possibilities you are just a fresher you are just graduated you don't have any experience or maybe you don't have any it experience okay you might have some other experience maybe you have done some you know, you have done some uh, BCom, accounts management or different tracks. You want to move on to the IT. So these are the different uh, roles of the people who generally start, generally what I see. Okay. So now you want to get into any of these role. Okay. So you might be getting into a job. So one of the basic job you can start with CCNA is the network engineer role. Network engineer role, typically a level one engineer. Level one engineer. Levels are... Generally, there are some level one, a level two, level three engineers. Generally, tier tier one, tier two, tier three. That's another uh, typical name used in the organizations. Now, level one engineers are generally anything in between zero to two years of experience, mostly uh, freshers, where your job is the doing the basic network monitoring kind of thing, the basic role. And the level two is anything in, around in between two to five years of experience. And then the level three, anything in between five to 10 years of experience are generally the level three engineers. Generally, CCNP, CCI is concerned this category, mostly designing level. And then you have uh, the network engineer, level two engineers, who generally have a CCNP level of things. Okay, the network engineer roles, even the same thing in network security as well. Okay, in everywhere, there is a specific roles you have. Okay, so now, this is something what everyone wants. Of course, everyone want to land into networking new role, especially if you are a fresher and you are just moving into the IT without zero, zero years of experience. This is the initial role, little bit rare to find. Of course, without experience, you'll find very less profiles, very less jobs, but that's the first step. Okay, um, now maybe you are into system admin, network admin. I don't really suggest these people to come into this one. Okay, this is first kind of a role. Now, the second role is you might be moving on to the network engineer. Now, network engineer is the advance of this, typically level one, level two engineer. Now, level one, level two is nothing but mostly you have a two years of experience, two plus years of experience, an experience in maybe as a system admin, maybe as a desktop admin, or maybe a database, relevant to IT experience. You have a relevant IT experience and you want to... Uh, merge or you want to make your profile as a network engineer profile a merged profile then generally you do ccna of course for this kind of people i generally suggest you to do ccna ccnp enterprise will be sufficient uh, typically i generally suggest you a specific uh, module let's say uh, there are some specific modules l1 l2 modules which generally we suggest this is specifically the l1 l2 engineer program which basically covers the ccna ccnp enterprise and then you just move on with understanding the ccna ccnp and of course the additional things you will be covered with apart from ccna ccnp some 
mock labs, troubleshooting tickets, monitoring, interview preparation, all these things comes in that, where it becomes easy for you to manage two plus years of experience, irrespective of whatever, what is the domain you're working. You might be working on any of the IT domains or maybe a non-IT domains where you can add and manage the experience. So if you are in this category, then you need to add additional skill set to manage the two plus years of experience. That's the second thing. Okay. Now, again, if you are network admin role, now network admin is more kind of a role where you're working for a company and your job is to manage the servers. And additionally, you manage the network and some part of firewalls. You're not dedicated, some part of firewalls. So typically the network administrator role is where you have an uh, organization maintaining multiple things. So you need to have a multiple skill set. You're not expert in network. You're not expert in, but mostly you do most of the server related job apart from desktop kind of a jobs. If you take a small company with 100 to 200 users, you the sub company's role will be network administrator role, similar to network engineer, but network engineer is more dedicated on the network devices like routers, switches, uh, that's a dedicated role. But whereas this is more kind of a mixed role where you manage multiple things uh, at the same time for most of the small size organizations. Okay, again, if you're already working on, on these roles, you add this network skill set to move on to the network, network admin role. Maybe you are a system admin and you want to move on to the network admin. That's a next level it's from system admin or desktop admin. Uh, you move to the network admin role where you manage with a better experience. And additionally, let's say, uh, let's say you, one more thing. You might be want to make a career on security domain, network security, where you will be adding some uh, firewalls, basically the firewalls, let's say uh, Cisco firewalls or any other firewalls like FortiGate, Checkpoint, uh, and then Palo Alto or Cisco ASA different firewalls, VPN concepts. So more onto the network security profile. Now, now if you want to make your career as a network security engineer, okay, like, uh, let me just say NSC, there is one program called NSC, which we do generally on this, where this is more kind of a network security engineer profile, where you need to have the basic skills of CCNA. Of course, for all these things, CCNA skills are mandatory. That's where you, move on okay so now you will go to the network security either you are already working as a network engineer so the roadmap will be like you are a fresher and you want to build your network security profile that's the one way or the second category is you're working as a network a network engineer as an l1 l2 you move to the network security profile for a better packages better growth of course, you add some security skills and move to the network security engineer role because most of the network security engineers will be moving from this role, okay? Most of the people, okay? A little bit, you'll find rare people directly going into it. But generally, the network experience always counts for security as well because no one will directly go to the make your profile to network security unless you are, uh, you are very good at the top level. Of course, you need some experience at the back end. Okay, or maybe your profile is network admin, you want to change to network security, but normally network admin roles, because the network admin people generally, they don't have a strong networking skills because they just manage the small networks. So typically this, this, or any other options, okay. Or maybe you, have, you are working as a level one engineer and you want to move to the network security engineer or maybe to level two engineer like that. Okay. so. Where you move, it totally depends upon how you plan. There are two things, of course, where your requirement will take you. Like, uh, let me just complete this part as well. Let me just quickly complete the other other options. Like, you might be planning to move on to the network or cyber security roles. Then again, you need to have network security skills. That is one kind. It means it's kind of a one additional skill set you add up for other relevant courses. Or maybe you want to become a programmer, uh, more into network automation programming, where you want to develop some code. So probably again, you need to understand the network, network devices, a little bit, not expertise on that. These are different options you can go with. 
Now you need to figure out where exactly you want to go and what exactly you want to do. Okay. Now anyone can say, you know, I want to become a network security engineer, you know, I want to become a cyber security engineer or a program. Everyone say a lot of words, but at then, you know, you, there are many things you need to consider. The first thing is you need to understand your skill set. What are the skill set you possess? And what is the experience you have? And which company you're working for? These things all will be deciding, okay? What kind of environment we are getting? These all things matters, okay? So simply you cannot say, I'll, I want to become a network security engineer or I want to become a programming expert. But if you don't have an exposure, then it's not possible. Okay, so generally what we say, we generally say, okay, start with the CCNA and that's a minimum level you need to start with. And once you add this skill set, then depending upon which platform you're working. So if you're working, then you need to figure out what kind of network you're working, which company you're working for, what kind of network in that network, you have any firewalls, what routers, which is, what is the size of the network? Accordingly, you have to add the skill set. And then based on that, you have to add the experience because most of the time people, what they, the mistake, what they do is they just go and say, you know, they learn CCNA and some learn some firewalls. But the problem is they are working on a system admin role where they don't have any firewall in a company network and you add the skill set, but adding the skill set is fine, but adding the experience is going to be a challenge again. If you don't see them, or even if you don't uh, have a basic idea how the things are implemented, okay? Okay, so finally, let me just quickly conclude this. Um, which which domain you have to expertise, it totally depends upon multiple things, okay? So the skills, what you possess, what you have, and what you want to acquire. Because I generally recommend the skills, what you generally acquire based on your working company, okay? Like let's say you're working for a company as a system admin role and you have not much exposure, then probably you need to add the skill set and and add another skill set like CCNP and move on to the network engineer role. Looking for a new company, obviously you have to do that, okay? Because there are specific limitations in all these tracks, especially the system admin, there's a limitation. Even database also, there's a limitation because recently I met few people, you know, they worked on database for more than five, eight years. There's no scope again. So there's uh, there's an end, you know, there's an end of the road. Okay, for these tracks, this one, this one. And of course, from L1, you go to this anywhere, you can just, this one, okay. To some extent, it's good, okay. But if you want to explore, you need to have a continuous learning. The One of the main factor is continuous learning. Learning is very important, okay. So the actual learning starts when you start working. That's a important thing, okay. Because many people think, once you get into a job, uh, you know, you don't need to learn, but actually in network, uh, networking or network or anywhere, you know, even in programming, the actual learning starts when you start working. Okay. So the more you keep on uh, spend time on learning, the more you grow. And let's say if you are doing learning for next 10 years, let's say you can easily make 10 times more uh, salary than what you make initially. Okay. Let's say if you're starting with uh, 20K per month in India, let's say, and maybe the next 10 years, it will easily become uh, 20, 10 times more if you are in a continuous learning process where you are continuously adding additional skill set. Of course, you have to do investments on, on some learning as well. That's something you have to do. Okay. Now, which domain? You need to figure out where you exactly fall, which category you fall into. Okay. And of course, the other thing, whether you will be able to manage the skills or not, because it's very important that you need to manage the skill set. Because let's say you want to become a network security engineer. Of course, if you're not in a position to learn the firewalls or if it gets complicated for you, if you don't find time, that's going to be no use, right? Or if you want to, you have to add some network automation skills. Again, you need to have some understanding on Python, you know, or some other skill set where you build some scripts and all. So at the end, you need to have some foundational knowledge on those things as well. Okay. So most of the people you now, as I said, in the CCNA, you start here or spend around one and after two months on this and you can just land anywhere. CCNA is the first step uh, for all these things.